Hi everybody, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new, please like, comment, subscribe. If you're not new, like and comment. Um, and if you're new and you're subscribing, please let me know. If you have a channel that you're working on and you want support, I'd be happy to support you and get to know what you're all about. Um, anyway, so if you've been following me at all, you know that I have been getting very much into the world of subscription boxes lately. And um, I have been trying out the thread up boxes and I just got a thread up goodie box in the mail today and if you don't know what it is it's kind of like a stitch fix but thread up is a um, consignment online consignment store so it's a uh, thrifting and it's great because that promotes recycling which I'm a big fan of. So the goodie box, they send you a bunch of stuff based on a style quiz that you take and what you like you can keep and pay for and then send back what you don't want. There are 10 items, uh, the, it's only $10 to actually get the box. So that's not a big, they don't charge shipping, it's just $10. So that's great. Um, so let's get started. It comes in a box like this. I, my assumption is that you've already watched, this isn't the first goodie box haul that you've watched if you're watching this. So I'm just going to get right into it. I'm super excited. Um, okay, so the first thing is, it looks like a sweater. Um, and it's cute. It's actually quite cute. It's gray in the front, and then the back is black. Okay, so this is um, Made Well. That's the brand. I don't know them. Um, there should be a list of how much each thing would cost me should I choose to keep it in here as well. So, um, that might have helped with the lighting. Anyway, um, so here's the return label. They send you $10 only, no shipping. It's really a good deal. Um, it comes with this little pamphlet. It says this is us on the front. Um, um, oh, this is promoting the uh, recycling nature of it of the company, which I, I really, really like. I did try Stitch Fix. I filmed a video that I haven't uploaded yet, but I really don't don't think I'm going to get into them because I am much more of a thrifter and trying to recycle clothing. Um, this is just a whole bunch of inspirational quotes and pictures. Cute. Um, but there should be in here a list of how much they want to charge me for each thing if I keep it. I don't know where it is yet, but we'll get to it hopefully, because I can't, I can't make the decision without knowing that. Okay, so that's a pretty cute sweater. I will try it on and I will see if I want to keep it. This looks like a piece of jewelry. I really do like these long necklaces. Um, it's very tangled up. Ah. Oh. oh, wow. Huh. That's quite cute, too. I, I should have put on a different... That's very nice. I should have put on a different shirt. Um, I like that. Okay. Ooh, where's this? That where's the price list? I need to see the prices. Here's another sweater. They really want me to be warm. Uh, this looks huge. Let's see. This is certainly an oversized sweater. I've been into the oversized sweaters. This is by Pico 1988. It's a large, and it's definitely a large. The lighting and color of this don't really help you see, but it goes from here to here. There you go. That's how big it is around the waist. Um, I just think that that's going to be gargantuous on me. <laughs> uh, gosh, I should have picked better lighting. I think that it's okay. Um, and then here is, I have been into floral lately. I may have said that on the 
Style profile. Oh, this is cute. This looks like a cute little vintage type floral dress. It's got a very vintage looking style to, to it. It's from Lulu's. It's a large. I'm not sure. Did I put large? The first sweater was a medium and I'm typically a medium. This looks huge too. Hmm. Uh, I hope that well, here's a 10. That's my size. This is a dress. Let's see. I'll start from the top down. So it, this one's a little vintagey too. And then it, it goes like that. And it has this kind of um, cutouts in it. I might like it. I don't know. It's cute, but I don't know if I'll like it enough to keep. Um, here's another sweater. I think I may have said something about liking oversized sweaters, because I do. But they're really sending me these giant sweaters. This is Zara, and it's another dark one. But this is, so you can't really see it very well, but so I'll put my hands on either side. That's how big it is around. Um, it's the knit oversized style. So maybe I said something about liking the oversized style, but good God, I would need this in a medium. Okay. Um, so they're sending really decent stuff, and they're the size 12 pants. I I double checked I double checked the website and I told them size 10 pants that's for sure. I do kind of teeter medium to large tops, so I'm trying to remember what I said for tops. Um so these these are too big. These are too big. They're Pendleton. They look nice and decent and they're not distressed, which is great because I don't like distressed, but I don't uh 12 is too big for me. Okay. Oh, I have, you know what's funny is I have a dress a lot like this that I can't find, which is weird. This is also a really dark color, so you're not able to see it. Let me open these blinds. Let's try to change this. Ah, you can kind of see it a little bit better. Sorry, the lighting's not going so well. Um... This is also a 12, though, and looks kind of big. Let's see. We'll see. We'll see. Oops. Excuse me. Oh, see, now, somebody got confused with my sizing, because this is more, this is J brand, which is a really, really good brand. Um, and these are green, green pants. Uh, and they are... A 30 which is not a size 12 that's like a 30 is like a size 10 so that's fascinating but I do like J brand I have a pair of J brand brand pants that were hand-me-downs from somebody um, and now these are a giant pair of 31 pants I don't know I'll try them on um, and we'll see Okay. Okay, so I already tried on a pair of jeans that were entirely too big, um, which is funny because they gave me a size 12 jean and then they sent these size 30 J brand pants, which are uh, made to fit um, really slim in their 30s, which is equivalent to a size 10, and these fit great. <laughs> um, so uh, I actually really do like them, and I did find the pricing sheet. Um, J Brand, I already, I, as I mentioned, have another pair of J Brand leggings, jeggings. These are jeggings, so that's why they fit so snug. But um, they're very comfortable. J Brand retails for like 189, it says, and they're um, asking 24.99. So I'm gonna seriously consider these. Um, you can see my Brussels sprouts, and then you can see that they um, 
are skinny uh, legs, so I can wear them nicely with boots. And then I'm going to try this oversized sweater. I, I love these knit oversized sweaters, but this is it's a large. It's just so big. It's so big, but I love the cute over the shoulder oversized sweater look. But um, I just think that this is too big. I'm trying to... I'm sorry, I need to get a better camera so that I can do these try-ons. I'm new to doing try-ons. Um, it just feels too big? I don't know. What do you guys think? There, you can kind of see me there. Um, it's kind of the cute oversized sweater look. Zara and this one is, they want $29.99. It's interesting, and the estimated retail is $49, and then these pants are cheaper. But anyway, okay. So I, I'm liking this stuff. I'm liking this stuff better than the stuff I got from Stitch Fix. So try to upload that video too. I tried that one on my phone. So if I'm going to do these try-on videos, I have to um, start uh, playing with my equipment more. So this is the other really, really large sweatshirt. I must have said I liked the oversized sweatshirts. Um, uh, okay, I, I, I kind of see the point, what it's trying to do, being so baggy, but I just think it kind of does nothing for me. Does nothing for me. Okay, I'm going to... Oh, I have another sweatshirt I'm going to make you guys watch me change into. And then I will um, put on some of the, the... I've got two dresses I will put on. I'll try those out. Here is the last sweater, though. And this one's a medium. And this one... Oh, that last one they wanted... Um, $18.99 for. And the estimated retail was 48. I'm not going to keep that one. Uh, this is a good sweater. It, and like I said, it's um, gray in the front and black in the back. Oh, I will seriously think about keeping this one. I'll probably put it on again and stand in front of the mirror for five minutes and then make a decision. And then here is the, this is a good sweater to try on the necklace with. Oh, not really. But I, I like this necklace also. And it's the thing is, I've seen so many necklaces like these that are really like cheap, cheap feeling. Hi. That are really cheap feeling. And this one um, feels really sturdy. Uh, it is, let's see, Original retail 38 and the price is $18.99. So I'm actually going to consider keeping this one too. Um, so far I am liking this better than Stitch Fix. I think just because the recycled clothing aspect. Okay, so I have... I anticipate this pair of jeans being um, way too big as well. But they're because they're size 12 and I do not wear size 12 anymore. Um, Pendleton uh, jeans uh, retail $119, um, thread up price $19.99. So that's not bad, and I, that's a pretty good brand, I think, but they look too big. Um, so I am going to move on to trying. I have three dresses to try on, so I'll show you guys those. Okay, so here's one of the dresses. It's Banana Republic black dress. It's actually quite practical. Um, like I said, I do have one a lot like it that I haven't seen in a while. Where the heck is it? So this one's Banana Republic, retails $138, thread up price is $32.99. Um, it has pockets. Oh my gosh, it has pockets. Oh boy. I need the lighting for the dress. Oh, there, that changed. Anyway, okay. And then I also put on the necklace. Um, and boy, was this a difficult necklace to get on. Um, 
and I think it's twisted and I think I put it on backwards <laughs> but I really like it I do really like it I'm fairly certain I'm going to keep it um, and it's kind of a gold tone it, it's not kind of it is a gold tone which I've been trying to open my mind to maybe wearing gold I have been a silver person all my life um, okay so I'm a maybe on this dress we'll see um, and on to the next one okay so here's the next dress it's actually not bad I don't hate it but um I also don't love it, so I make a point to not buy anything unless I love it, unless it's hands down like, yes, this works for me. Otherwise, I just buy something and then I never end up wearing it, even if it was a bargain, and then I end up think thinking, oh, what a waste. So, um, yeah, so this is a no from me. I don't love it. And I'm, I'm borderline loving some other things, and I'll go over that again. There's one more dress to try on, and then we'll kind of debrief afterward. Okay, so this is the last dress, and I actually think it's really cute. It has kind of this older, like, a slightly vintage style, and it's very leggy, which my husband loves my legs. Um... So I think he might actually kind of like this, and it has kind of a, it just has kind of a sophisticated but sexy look to it. I'm not sure, I also am kind of an apple shape, so I have a little bit of a tummy, so having it nice and flowy right here kind of helps hide that. It looks better when I looked in the mirror than when I'm looking at my screen right now, actually, so I might... I'll have to think about this and then again I have the necklace on with it and it looks really good. I could see this with some really like nice classy wedges or something like that which I don't know and so um anyway okay so we'll get together for the debrief. Okay so I'm sorry for all the lighting struggles during the try on. I hope that it turned out well enough for me to include that part. Um, anyway, regardless I'm gonna go through the debrief of what I thought of each item. I am actually wearing the oversized Zara sweatshirt right now. Um, it's that oversized knit sweater look, which I must have told them I wanted one because there were a couple in here like that. Um, and I, I think it's really cute, and this one is pretty much on point with that. I just wish it were a little smaller. So I'm gonna wear it around, see what I think. But I do like it, it is, I, I think that is a super cute look. And so this is black knit, uh, Zara pullover sweater retails for $49 and they want $29.99 which um, that's only $10 off most of their stuff is better deals than that so I don't know we'll see if I think it's worth $30 it must have maybe it's new with tags I didn't notice that it's new with tags oh it's new with tags that's why that's why Okay, and then these J brand pants, they fit like jeggings. They are very cute, actually. And I have a pair of green jeggings that are kind of on their way out, and they would look really, really great with boots this fall season. So I am um, likely going to keep these. Uh, J brand's a nice brand. They retail for $189, and they want $24.99 for these. Um, and so these work out well. I got two pairs of jeans that were much larger size. I don't know what they were, why they did that. Um, I put size 10 in the um, style quiz and they sent me 12s in jeans, but this one's a 10. It's a size 30, which is a 10. So um, that's confusing, but so no on the jeans. I'm not even going to, the jeans, there were two pair. One was a Women's page jean, wow, retails for $190. They want $29.99. And the other was women's pendulum jeans, retails for $119. They want $19.99. So um, I like the J brand ones. So I'm seriously considering keeping those. I probably will. I really like this necklace. Um, it's well made. It has that cute tiered necklace look that is in style right now and um, it's giving me troubles but it's very cute. Um, this dress is a possibility. Actually it had the pockets. It has pockets. I don't know if I'm going to include the try on part because the lighting was so terrible but um, it has pockets and it's a basic flowy black dress from Banana Republic. It's short just above the knee and it has pockets. Banana Republic um, this is a, t a size 12, actually. It worked well. I have a large chest. So anyway, so this one uh, retails $138, and it's $32.99. But the pockets, 
might be worth that $10 more than I would have spent otherwise. Um, this dress is cute, but it didn't really speak to me very much. Um, so there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, this one's a 10. Um, and this one is Wisp. Uh, Wisp casual dress. Retails for $95. They want $25.99. That's definitely going back. This dress was um, super cute, flowy, had a vintage style, really showed off the legs, um, and which my husband loves my legs. And uh, this one is a Lulu's. I wonder if that has to do with Lulu Limit at all. I don't know. Large, size large. Retails for $60 and they want $17.99. So this is a possibility. This um this is a sweater and uh it, it's it's nice. I just I, I mean it's it's good, but I don't love it. And um this one was a medium and this is a made well, it's called is the brand, and it retails for ninety-eight and they want twenty-one ninety nine. No, that's going back. And then here are the jeans. Okay, so that's everything. So I am probably gonna keep Seriously, considering keeping this, oops, I just flashed you, um, this sweater, and, um, and this dress is really pretty, and this black dress is nice and practical and flowy, had one like it, don't know where it is, and this has pockets, and then these jeggings, and then the necklace. So this, that's five out of ten things. That's really good. That's really good. And then I will be able to get the $10 credited, the $10 that I spent to get this shipped me credited to whatever I purchased. So that's excellent. Five out of 10. Good job, ThreadUp. Very good job. Stitch Fix I just got. I didn't keep anything. I'm sending it all back. It wasn't bad. It was just much pricier and not recycled. Anyway, okay. Um, let me know what you think of the pieces. Um, hopefully I was able to load the try-on part and it, it, you could see it well enough. And let me know, uh, do me a favor and let me know what you think. Again, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you subscribe. I'd love to check out your channel too. Okay, bye.